What's up guys, Chase here, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk about a tool that makes me about $1,500 per month mining Bitcoin. Now you might be thinking, hey, this says $170 per month. I'm gonna show you how it actually makes 1,500 because I have multiple computers set up and I'll explain to you why I got into this in the first place and whether or not you should get into it. But before I do, I wanna mention that if you want to fully automate your income, go to the link in the description of this video and learn how I have created these processes to make uh, a, a really healthy amount of passive income for myself and how you can too. Uh, we're gonna be doing a live class coming up here in one day and 20 hours. You might be, it might be lower when, by the time you see this, might even be closed, so um, get in there while you can. Now, one thing you might be thinking is, hey, you know, I don't really have any money to invest in doing, you know, what you're going to show me today, Jason. That's the cool thing is you don't actually have to have any money in order to do this. You also don't need to spend a lot of money um, on electricity either um, if you start doing it. So um, it's a thing that, yes, once you get it, it's completely free. Um, all you have to really do is run your computer uh, and this will just passively make you money. So let me just explain to you a little while back, I was on Facebook and I saw this hype about, you know, Bitcoin and everybody's saying how the prices are going up. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to start uh, making money with crypto? And I didn't know anything about it. So I kind of did some research. I wanted to see if I could mine it. And, you know, in the past, I, I tried mining before and I saw some things that people were showing me about mining and it was just really technical. So I kind of got discouraged. And recently I came upon a tool called uh, Cryptex, which by the way, if you want a, uh, a free, I think there's like some sort of free thing that it comes with. If you go to the link in the description, um, you also, if you also just want to support the channel, go to the link in the description and grab Cryptex if you do decide to use it. But um, I wound up finding it and I uh, pretty much just launched it on my computer and I was su super surprised because it just started running and it just said I was making about $5 per day. And I was like, how is this possible? I'm not even, I didn't even have to do anything. And that's the cool thing about this uh, program is that you actually don't even have to do anything to get it set up. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what you do um, in order to get the program and get it running and make sure you optimize it. But uh, it's actually pretty simple just to put it on your computer. Um, you basically download a program, you open it up, you run it and you're good to go. But there are some technicalities that I want to show you um, and, and, some things that you need to know when you're doing this because um, you know anything that you start doing, you, you definitely wanna know the ins and outs of it uh, before getting into it. So first of all, you, you need to have some sort of graphics card. You can see here, this is an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti. Um, it's a gaming uh, computer, so I have a good graphics card for gaming. If you don't have a very good graphics card, um, chances are you're not going to be able to make a ton of money. You can still probably make a little bit of money because you can still mine with your CPU. If I turn this button on, I can actually start mining with my CPU. Um, but that's usually about, I don't know, um, probably like 20 or 30 cents a day. It's not going to be a whole lot. Um, however, if you look at the inflation rate on a lot of this stuff, it can end up being a lot more. Um, but let's just go into the step-by-step -step and, uh, and I'll explain to you how you can optimize this, how you can start making more money. And I'll also tell you what I've been doing to actually pull $1,500 a day because, um, I actually just bought a bunch of computers and I've been, uh, I've been running them, um, all night and, uh, and the results have been pretty crazy. Um, so anyways, let's go into the first step, which is going to the link in the description of this video and go to Cryptex and go ahead and uh, create an account. So you're just gonna go to Cryptex like this. You're gonna go to the download and it's gonna ask you to create an account afterwards. After it's done downloading, you're gonna press run and you're gonna open it up. Now, at a basic level, that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get it running. And, uh, and you can start making money that fast. Now, uh, let's talk about what you need to know about the actual uh, dashboard, the platform and everything else. So first of all, you can see here, this says 25 MHS and that stands for mega hashes. Basically the higher your mega hashes are, the more money you can make. Um, the mega hashes are basically a way to, um, they're used to decode what, uh, 
what the coin is that you're mining. So the way crypto works and the way mining works is that you're basically trying to figure out what code is the coin consists of in order to actually mine it. It's kind of confusing. Again, you don't have to know about the actual um, process in order to do this. I'm just kind of explaining to you what these are. So our goal is we want to actually up these mega hashes and I'll show you, I'm actually able to get about 40 mega hashes. I'm about, almost about able to double this just by doing a few simple tweaks. But before I show you how to do that, let me just show you the dashboard. So here you can see, this is my total balance right now, $153.30. And the way this platform works, by the way, is um, the way they make money is every time you go to withdraw uh, your money, if you wanna withdraw it, they charge a $10 fee. So you know, generally you basically just wanna hold on to the money uh, until you're ready to cash out um, you know, with a big chunk of it so you don't get $10 fees all the time. So this is the dashboard you can see here. This kind of shows you your earning history. This shows you how many um, uh, uh, mega hashes I think you're running. Um, or this is how many solutions you're solving, something weird. I don't really know it that much. Um, balance, this just shows you, uh, you can see here, um, the price of Bitcoin. So the exchange rate and gives you all this other information. Hardware, this is all the different computers that I'm running. Whether they're on or not, you can actually control them from this dashboard, I believe, which is pretty cool. You can turn it on or off. It'll tell you how they're doing, how much wattage they're using what the temperature of the GPU is. And I'll explain to you as well, like how high you should have your GPU and whatever else. Um, okay, now you have down here your request payment. So you can get paid out in Bitcoin, you can get paid out in Ethereum, any of these other things as well. Um, I recommend, you know, probably Bitcoin just because it's a safer option. Ethereum is going up right now. So, you know, that might be a, a good thing for you to do. But um, that's pretty much all you do. You just uh, put in the amount that you want to withdraw and you uh, enter in your wallet address. Um, and I think in order to get a wallet, you just go on Google and just type in like crypto wallet. I actually haven't done that process yet. So uh, maybe I need to create a sec second tutorial for building a wallet. Um, but anyways, uh, the other cool thing about this tool is you can make money by recommending it to people. So um, when I'm doing this video right now I'm, and I'm recommending it to you, and I'm saying, hey, go use this tool. Um, you can actually go to this affiliate program button and anybody who, um, who uses your link and starts mining with Cryptex, you can see you make about 3% of whatever they mine. So, um, you know, it's kind of more of a reason to use this tool to make money because now when people see that you're making money with it, they're gonna wanna go and make money as well and uh, then you get a percentage of what they earn, um, which is really cool. You can see here, I've earned about $11.44 already from other people mining for me. Okay, now let's talk about how I'm making $1,500 a month because right now, again, you might be seeing it says $183 per month and with four computers, that just doesn't add up. So one thing that we can do is we can up the um, mega hashes, but the other thing is that um, depending on how much Ethereum is worth at this point, because this is mining Ethereum, the price will go up in the amount of money that I actually mine. So right now you can see it's a little bit lower, the price of Ethereum is lower, but if the price of Ethereum goes up, then I'm able to sometimes earn up to 15, $14 to $15 in a day. And so this has actually been recently about $14 to $15 per day. Um, it's weird too, because I've been seeing that later in the day, the, t the, uh, the amount of money that I've been making um, ha or uh, the, the price of Ethereum has been going up and then earlier in the day, it's usually not as high for some weird reason. So there's a couple of things that you're going to want to get for this, um, for, uh, for Cryptex in order to increase your, your mega hashes in order to get more money coming in. The first one is a tool called MSI Afterburner. So after you download Cryptex, which is step one, step two is you're going to go to a tool called MSI Afterburner. Um, I already have it, but I will go show you what the website looks like. And I will also obviously um, leave the links to this in the description of the video. But you're going to go over to the site and you're going to press the download button here. After you download the tool, this is what it looks like. Now, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to, um, we're basically trying to uh, uh, up our, our stats. We're trying to up the amount of um, mega hashes that we can actually get with the 
um, GPU. Now, what you're basically mainly adjusting is these two things, the core clock and the memory clock. I, I'm not, again, I'm not a pro at this by any means, so I don't really fully understand it, but you usually wanna fluctuate anywhere between um, zero to 800 on here, and then on the core clock, usually between zero and 100. And, um, and usually just by kind of going in between these settings, you'll end up finding a, a good spot that um, ends up uh, really upping the mega hashes. Um, and basically all you do is you just, once you adjust it how you want, you just press this um, apply button and uh, you can start running these. This will usually end up uh, running higher um, as you adjust these settings. Now, what ends up happening though is you use more core clock and more memory clock, your, your um, GPU will start getting hotter. You can see this is the actual temperature of the card in the GPU. So one thing that you're gonna wanna end up doing is actually increasing your fan speed. And you can, buy, you can do that by enabling this auto button, turning it off actually, and then upping your fan speed here and pressing apply. Now, if you want a deeper tutorial on overclocking, um, please let me know because I have a friend that's amazing at this. I'm not good at it by, by any means. Um, I'll, I'd love to bring him on and give you guys some more information about that. But um, that's kind of the gist of it. You're just basically wiggling it around until um, the mega hashes start going up. Um, and you want to make sure, by the way, that your uh, whatever you do, that when you're when you're when you're messing around with it, make sure that your GPU doesn't go over 75 degrees uh, Celsius, because once you start getting into that uh, territory, you can start um, um, burning up your stuff. But as long as you're around like 65 to 70, um, I usually try to keep mine at like 58 to 59. Um, you, you're usually pretty good. Um, so yeah. Uh, all right, so next what we got is a tool called the ETH enlargement pill. And this pill is, it's kind of, I mean, it's called a pill. It's actually just a, a program. It's only meant for two different types of GPUs. Um, it, the GTX 1080 and the GTX 1080 Ti, I believe. Um, and basically it just helps you get more mega hashes out of these two different GPUs. Um, so if you have those, if you have one of those GPUs, you would run this program on it. I'm not going to go into it. Just look it up if, if you do have that, um, uh, if you do have one of those graphics cards. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, I don't know which graphics card I have. I don't know how profitable it is um, for the graphics card that I currently have. And um, the easiest way to do it is just to uh, go to your system settings, I believe. So if you type in computer on here, do properties, I usually can find your settings or your um, your uh, devices, you can see actually right here, it doesn't have it in here. I believe it's in device manager. So we would do something like display monitor. I think it might be display. Yeah, so there it is. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Now there's actually something you can do um, that can increase the profits that you're making and that is buying more computers. So we kind of talked about step one, which is, let me just put it in here. Step one is um, downloading Cryptex and running it. Um, step two is sort of optimizing it with something like MSI Afterburner. And then step three is buying more computers. So um, let's just say that you got one computer running kind of like how I did when I first started and you're making, I don't know, five, $10 per day, um, maybe 15 if, if the ETH uh, prices are higher and you're running a higher mega hash rate. Um, but now you wanna get more computers. Now, here's the thing. A lot of the uh, prices are really high right now. So if I wanna make money um, you know, mining, sometimes, you know, the investment might not be worth it. And so this is optional. You don't actually have to do this step, but it is something that, you know, if you want to keep making more money, like for instance, um, like when I'm, when things are going up, when the rates aren't down like this, I can make up to $1,500 per month estimated. Right. Um, and so all I have to do is find something that's going to be worth that right now you can you can get all kinds of different graphics cards um like ranging from something really cheap to something really expensive what i would recommend though is just go to somewhere like facebook marketplace which is what i've been doing and what you're going to do is you're just going to start looking for people that are selling entire computers uh cheaper than the graphics card itself so if i go to um let's just type in facebook marketplace and we'll go here. 
And by the way, I just want to mention, you know, I started doing this. I've only bought three computers. I spent a total of about $3,000 and that scared me. Freaking those fingers scared me. I spent a total of about $3,000 and I have now four computers running that are making about the $1,500 per month. So it's only going to take, uh, I think about three months for those other computers I bought to make the money back. And the cool thing is, is even after I make the money back, I can end up getting um, getting those computers resold and I can make even more if I just want to resell the computers because the computers will hold pretty good value. So we're in Marketplace. I'm going to type in computers. And here we can see, okay, you don't usually want something like this. You want something that's like a gaming computer that has a, you know, a graphics card in it. Um, one thing I will mention is that uh, every about four gigabytes of memory that you have in a graphics card, you get about, um, I think it's about 12 to 13 mega hashes. So this is a 11 gigabyte graphics card and it can go up to 40 mega hashes per second. A four gigabyte uh, uh, graphics card probably will only be able to pull about 20 when you're overclocking it. So. Um, just remember that, you know, whenever you're looking up a graphics card, even if you're looking and seeing, oh, you know, it's cheaper, you know, I, I can, or it's more expensive than, um, it's more expensive on, on like Amazon than it is somebody selling it. Just remember how much you're actually making off of it. Uh, you can see here for about 27 mega hashes when I'm running it at this speed, it's making about $6 per day. So if you're getting a four gigabyte graphics card and there's only, you know, um, 20 mega hashes that it can run, you're only making about $4 a day when you're probably spending about six or 700 to buy the computer. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just let me just show you because I know it does sound kind of confusing. Um, so like for instance, the gaming PC build. Oh, looks like this is a service that they're selling. Um, and you'll notice that a lot of computers are actually being purchased right now because the, the profits are so high on mining. So here we go, an RGB gaming PC and all we're really looking at is the um, the graphics card, which you can see right here. It says a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google that. And we're going to go see what it's worth. So it looks like it's only worth like 100 bucks. And if we actually see the specifications, we want to see what the memory is on it. Um, let's see. Is it about 5 gigabytes per second? Is that right? Ah, I guess that's right. Um, that doesn't seem right to me. Because if it is, then it should be more expensive, I believe. Yeah, it's about two gigabytes, I think. So um, you can see here, it's unavailable. Everybody's buying graphics cards because they want to mine with them. But if the computer, like if the, com this is basically the ratio. If you're, if the computer somebody's selling, let me see, let me put this up. If the computer somebody's selling, is more expensive than the graphics card that's being listed, then you're probably not getting a good deal or you're probably not getting a good enough deal in order to mine. And what I mean by this, let me just show you. This is worth $600, but the graphics card is only worth like a hundred. So it, you're actually paying for something that's not gonna really make you a whole lot of money. All the other parts are not really gonna make you a whole lot of money. All you really care about is the graphics card. I'll give you another example. I bought a computer um, two days ago with a 1080 Ti hybrid um, graphics card, which is making me, I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks a day, something around there. And I paid $1,100 for that computer. Well, the graphics card itself, let me just look it up for you, is worth about uh, 900, 1400, 1500, 1600. So it's on average, it's worth more than the 1100. So I got a pretty decent deal because the graphics card is basically, I basically just bought the graphics card, but got the computer with it. So that's kind of the deal that you want to look for. So um, kind of buy at your own risk. Don't, don't just do everything that I say, like just because I'm doing it doesn't mean that it's like financial advice or anything that you should, you know, for do, do it at your own risk, right? I do it as a hobby. I do it for, you know, for fun and I, I, I do make a little bit of money off of it, but it's more of a fun thing for me. Um, but that's the, the three-step system. Um, I know it might sound kind of simple, but it really is. It's not, it's not incredibly difficult, and it is something that's making me money. It's something that I'm going to continue doing. 
Um, and I also want to just mention again that if you haven't done so already, go to the link in the description. Check out the brand new class we'll be doing on Friday. Um, I really want to show you how you can fully automate your income. This, uh, this thing that I'm showing you here is a very small amount of money compared to the amount of money you can make by doing other forms of automation, like affiliate automation, um, using robots to go and build followings for you and make money on, on, you know, on the fly. Um, but ideally, you just want to figure out how to automate your income. And if you really want to do that, I do recommend you join these classes. You can get in for a dollar, um, but it's only for the next couple days. So get in there. I'll see you very soon. Until I do, uh, happy automating. See you next time. Bye.